Bless the Almighty, our Creator. Salam. Bless my heart, all men, first to those who do I'm not coming. Bless my heart, all men, first to those who do I'm not coming. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Blessed be the Almighty, our Almighty Creator, the Creator of the heaven and the earth, the strength of our life, and the light of our salvation. Bless. On this blessed day, a glorious day for all to know about, a glorious day for the world at large to know about. This day, this day of victory, this day of glory, good over evil, as we say within the revelation of the Almighty, the beginning of the Amagidian. As we have all heard about the Amagidian brothers and sisters of the human family, and many people do not really understand what is this Amagidian is all about, the Amagidian. We all heard of Revelation and how much we are living in the time of Revelation. And many people still do not really understand what is this revelation all about. Brothers and sisters of the human family, I would love to share with you all this day a prophecy of the holy prophet Isaiah, as we know the prophet Isaiah. And his prophecy that he had declared concerning this day in within its celebration as it had been celebrated today as Victory Day, good over evil, the day when the 20th century David slew Goliath. We read in the Bible about David and Goliath and David slewing Goliath. And many of us do not know that in our time, in the 20th century, there was a battle with David and Goliath. And David slew Goliath and won that battle within the mystery of itself, even as it was prophesied here in the Holy Bible by the prophet Isaiah. Uh, brothers and sisters, it's a joy. It's a joy to be on this day in this glorious celebration of good over evil, the Victory Day. Yes, my brothers and sisters, let us get it from the prophet Isaiah and his message. This is the beginning of the Amagidian. We all heard of the Amagidian and Amagidian time. Well, this is the beginning of the Amagidian. Isaiah 18, if you all can read with me, brothers and sisters of the human family, and let us get this message within itself so that we can celebrate within glory the prophecy of the prophets and the manifestation of the mysterious works of our Creator, our Lord and our Savior, Emmanuel Jesus Waldewahid. Even as it had been written here, brothers and sisters of the human family, I would love to read uh, Isaiah 18, Isaiah chapter 18, as he declared, Woe to the land, shattering with wings, which is beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, that sendeth ambassadors by seas, even in vessels of bulrushes, upon the waters, saying, Go ye swift messengers to a nation scattered and peeled, to a people terrible from their beginning, ere to a nation meted out and trodden down, a nation meted out and trodden down, whose land the rivers have spoiled. Now, when he said, the land shuddering with wings. What we're talking about, the wings that they're talking about is the aircraft, the warplanes that went over Ethiopia. And when the planes are 
coming like 25 of them in one. The shadow is covering the land of Ethiopia. So he said, woe to the land shattering with wings which is beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, that send their ambassadors by seas in vessels of bull, uh, bull rushes. The, the bull rushes on the water is the warships. That's what he's talking about. In vessels of bull rushes upon the waters, saying, Go ye swift messengers to a nation scattered and peel a people terrible from their beginning. What they're saying is that our people was uncivilized and they send the messengers upon the, in the bull rushes, that is the warships on the waters. And they went to invade Ethiopia as he continue a Isaiah 18 tree. All ye inhabitants of the world and dwellers on the earth, see ye when he lifted up an ensign upon the mountain. And when he blow a trumpet, hear, hear ye, for so the Lord say unto me, I will take my rest, and I will consider in my dwelling place like a clear heat upon herb, and like the cloud of dew in the heat of harvest. For afore the harvest, when the bud is perfect, and the sour grape is ripened in the flower, he shall both cut off the spring with pruning oaks and take away and cut down the branches. Now, this expression is as he declared the invasion of Ethiopia. The land which is beyond the rivers of Ethiopia send ambassadors by seas and vessels of bulrushes and they send, they, they, they shatter in with wings, which is the war planes coming over the land of Ethiopia. And the Lord said unto the prophet Isaiah that in that time he will take a rest. Yes, he said, I will take my rest, you know, and I will consider in my dwelling place. So the, the Lord is declaring to the prophet Isaiah, for so the Lord said unto me, I will take my rest and I will consider in my dwelling place like a clear heat upon herb and like the cloud of dew in the heat of harvest. So the Lord went away from the battle after the invasion and he took a rest away from the battlefield. And when the sour grapes is right as to say when they think that they had conquered Ethiopia and they had Ethiopia in their possession. Then he returned and cut off all the sour grapes with pruning hooks. That is the soldiers and the people who invaded Ethiopia in 1935-1936. This is exactly what the prophet Isaiah is talking here about my brothers and sisters of the human family. Again, <coughs> Isaiah 18.5, as he said, For afore the harvest, when the bud is perfect, and the sour grapes is ripened in the flower, he shall both cut off the spring with pruning oaks, and take away and cut down the branches. They shall be left together unto the fowls of the mountain and to the beasts of the earth. And the fowls shall summer upon them, and all the beasts of the earth shall winter upon them. In that time shall the present be brought unto the Lord of hosts of a people scattered and peeled, and from a people terrible from their beginning erto. A nation meted out and treading down on their foot, whose lands the rivers have spoiled, to a place of the name of the Lord of hosts, the Mount Zion. My brothers and sisters of the human family, let us celebrate together with Ethiopia in glory of the Almighty God. Because here the prophet Isaiah is declaring that Ethiopia is indeed Mount Zion the holy land of the Almighty. And the place 
in where God dwelleth, as he said, he had chosen her for himself where he may dwell. And it said that the Lord said that he will take a rest from the battlefield after the invasion. As we all see, the Lord of Lords and King of Kings took a rest and went away from the battlefield. And then when the sour grapes was ripe, when they thought in themselves, in their vain imagination, that Ethiopia was within their possession, then returned the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. And as it was in the ancient days, in BC, so it had been manifested here today in AD, where David had conquered Goliath. For we know greater David, as we know the generation of David continue through the offspring and the lineage of Solomon, which had been established in Ethiopia through the Queen of Sheba and Benakim, or Menelik I, known by all abroad and out. My brothers and sisters of the human family, the Bible had declared many things within itself. And remember, still, there are many things that is within the Ethiopian Bible that is not within the King James Version Bible. So we need to study our language, a gaze and Amharic, to understand a lot more things that is going on here in the world and around us. And today, the triumphant victory day, the victory of good over evil, when the 20th century David had destroyed Goliath of the 20th century. Yes, His Imperial Majesty, Gudemawe, Gudemawe Haile Selassie I, yes, the conquering lion of Judah, in the victory over fascist Mussolini and uh, Italy and Rome and the Catholic Church rising up against the Holy Land of God. And we know, as it had been said, Ethiopia shall stretch forth her hands unto God, the scriptures in the Bible. And it was declared that this man was born there in Ethiopia. Find out that man, my brothers and sisters of the human family, many things declared in the scripture here for us. And as we're talking here about the victory, the victory, salvation day, Salvation, good over evil, because it was the enemy and the invasion of Ethiopia was trying to destroy the true church of the Almighty, which is the Ethiopian Tawaido Church. Think about it. The Catholic Church invading the Ethiopian Tawaido Church and trying to conquer Ethiopia. Oh yes, because the Pope was standing over the bombs of Mussolini, claiming that he's blessing the bombs in the name of God to go and destroy the Ethiopian Holy Tawahido Church, where the Ark of the Covenant is being kept and the throne of David is being kept. Brothers and sisters of the human family, we all have to know our history and this truth, because it is written here in the, in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 18, as Isaiah declared, War unto the land, shadowing with wings, which is beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, that send their ambassadors by seas. Oh, brothers and sisters of the human family, we all must know what's going on here among us upon the earth. We all must know the glory of the Almighty. Yes, many people don't want to talk about it. But if you are siding with evil, then you're against God. But if you are with truth and righteousness, it does not matter what country you may born, even if you come from Italy or you're born in Rome. But know that Rome had rise up against the kingdom of heaven. Because any sanction against the Ark of the Covenant and against the throne of David is a sanction against the kingdom of heaven. Because God Almighty had declared even in the scripture, through the Psalms and by the prophets and the disciples and the apostles, that David's throne is the throne of God, the throne of Jesus Emmanuel Wahid. And some may acknowledge and some may don't want to acknowledge him. But we know that divine truth 
in which the Almighty God himself had sent his prophets to declare the prophecies as we read here in Isaiah 18 concerning that war that took place in Ethiopia from the time of 1935 and 1941 according to the Gregorian calendar. My brothers and sisters of the human family, we must know, we must know the divine nature of the Almighty God because we are here in the time of the Armageddon. And the Armageddon battle is going on. Look out there around you and see what is going on. It's a fight for power. All nations are fighting for power. All nations are trying to be better than the other. And all the different religions are fighting for power and trying to increase themselves more and more. Look around you. You have, uh, even in the Christian world, you have Pentecostal, Jehovah Witness, Seven Days Adventist, the Catholic, and they all are going out trying to win more souls from the other congregation because it's a fight for power. It's the Armageddon. It is the Armageddon. And the Armageddon begins with Ethiopia. Even as the First World War began there when uh, after the invasion of Ethiopia, when Italy tried to conquer Ethiopia and take over the Ark of the Covenant in the Battle of Adawa. That begins the First World War. Many people don't even know that. But that was the old ordinance which led to the First World War because Italy wanted to destroy the Holy Church of God, which is the Church of Ethiopia and the Holy Land of the Almighty. The land of Ethiopia indeed is holy among Zion. Read it here, brothers and sisters, in Isaiah 18. Isaiah chapter 18. Isaiah is declaring that we all may know that Ethiopia indeed is holy among Zion. Isaiah 18 verse 7 shows you that Ethiopia is holy among Zion. Yes, my brothers and sisters of the human family, that we all may know this truth. We, we're, we're talking here about the Almighty God, the creator of the heaven and the earth, the creator of all the hundred worlds that have been established here in the universe. If we don't know that it was hundred, one hundred world that the Almighty created and not just our world that we're living in. Yes, it is one hundred world in our universe. Brothers and sisters of the human family, but our world being in the vast and most intelligent in levels because the Almighty had made man in his likeness and image. And he chose to come and dwell into our world with us. And he put on our flesh and was born as man within the ordinance as man. Even as St. Peter had declared in the Acts chapter that our Lord had swore unto Dawet David that he will rise to sit upon David's throne to be king of kings and lords of lords and conquering lion of the tribe of Judah sitting on the throne of David. Brothers and sisters, we're talking about the King James Version Bible here. I'm not reading out of Amoric or talking about the Amoric Bible or Ethiopian Bible or some Bible in some other language that the people of the world don't know directly. We're talking about the King James Version Bible which as itself declare these messages to us that we may know. But many of us read the Bible and we see things and we go past them. We don't think that is important to us to know about it and to understand what did this happen before? Is it supposed to be happening and taking place here on earth amongst us? Uh, how would we be able to find out. Remember, we're living on a earth very, very large abroad with many nations and countries. So something may not happen over here. It may happen over there. But it's fulfilling the prophecies in the Bible that the Almighty God had sent His prophets to prophesy and declared unto us, brothers and sisters of the human family. Again, today we're talking about Victory Day. The victory of good over evil when David slew Goliath as to say 20th century David destroying 20th century Goliath. 
Yes, His Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie I in his battle against fascist Mussolini and Italy, Rome and the Catholic Church fighting against the Ethiopian Tawahedo Church. As we know today, the Ethiopian Orthodox Tawahedo Church, brothers and sisters of the human family. And Isaiah had foresighted where the Almighty had shown him before of this prophecy when this land beyond the rivers of Ethiopia with all their war planes and war ships sending their, their, their soldiers, their messengers and ambassadors to go and invade Ethiopia talking about our land was uh, scattered and peeled and our people were terrible from the beginning and they were uncivilized basically they were saying Ethiopia that taught the world Ethiopia, the cradle of civilization, who taught man what man should be, they're claiming that was uncivilized. Brothers and sisters of the human family, we taught the world civilization. The Almighty God rise up and set up a garden eastward in Eden, in Ethiopia the Garden of Eden. And our mother and father, Adam and Ewek, dwelled there in Ethiopia. And when they were cast out of the Garden of Eden, it is the land of which today is now called Ethiopia, in which they dwelled. <coughs> Excuse me there. Yes, they dwelled in Ethiopia. And that is the region of the first family of the human race. Ethiopia. Civilization came out from Ethiopia. And here we see in, in the prophecy of Isaiah where they were saying, and we have heard it with our own hearers, brothers and sisters of the human family, of people talking about Africa being uncivilized. al land. The holy land of the almighty creator, the master of the universe. Every nation of the world came out from Africa, Ethiopia. So everything that the world know within itself, intelligence and wisdom and knowledge and understanding within that nature of both spirit and flesh came out from what we call today Africa. And there is all of the proof, as we can see all of the ministers and holy fathers and all of the, uh, the, the, the doctors and the medicine people from ancients of days and from BC on to AD and continue as we go on in AD here before the world today, brothers and sisters. Everything is mentioning because it is in the ordinance of the respect to know the victory of good over evil in which the Almighty Himself was on the battlefield in 1936, 1935, 1936 and there again in 41 in, in, in to destroy evil. Yes, for I saw the Lord say to me, I will take my rest and I will consider in my dwelling place like a clear heat upon herb and like the cloud of dew upon the heat of harvest. Within the heat of harvest, the Almighty himself was out in the battlefield in 1936, brothers and sisters of the human family and 19. 41 there as we see. And the Almighty said to the prophet Isaiah that he will take a rest away from the battle and leave all of the sour grapes. And when they think that they're ripe and they're perfect, that's when they're declaring to the world, even as he said, for all ye inhabitants of the world and dwellers on the earth, see ye when he lifted up an ensign on the mountain, and when he bloweth a trumpet, hear ye. For the majesty went 
to the league of nation and declare unto the whole world even as it says all ye inhabitants of the world and dwellers on the earth see ye when he lifted up an ensign on the mountain and when he bloweth a trumpet hear ye as it was declared today for us tomorrow for you the majesty went to the league of nation and declare it unto the whole world of the evil invasion of this land which is beyond the rivers of Ethiopia that send their ambassadors by seas yes in shipments of bull rushers you know when a bull come rushing through what it is eh well, that's what they call a warship in its expression of to say, explain what it means when it says bull rushers on the waters, warships on the waters sent by Italy to invade Ethiopia. And when they said the land shadowing with wings, they're talking about the warplanes because when 25 warplane or 20 or 15 warplane line up together in a line flying through and coming over any country you can see the shadow of the wings of the plane as it cover the land as it come over so he said woe to the land shattering with wings which is beyond the rivers of ethiopia that tended ambassadors by seas even in vessels of bulrushers upon the waters Yes, all the warships and the warplanes that they send to invade Ethiopia. Say, go ye, go ye swift messengers to a nation scattered and peeled, to a people terrible from their beginning, ere to a nation meted out and trodden down, whose land the rivers have spoiled. We taught the world civilization because every nation of the world came out from us Africa Ethiopia all are, are the children all nation you call a nation on earth that is not a child of Africa every nation America England Japan China you you call it by the big from the low to the high to the mid Every race, every nation is a child of what they call today the African people, which we know originally our Kebu land, Ethiopia, or Punt, land of the gods. My brothers and sisters of the human family, many things here in the Bible mention that the Almighty had declared within himself that we may know him and his presence when he is among us. As St. Peter had declared it, that he will come to sit upon David's throne. Timothy had declared it. He will be the only potente king of kings and lords of lords and show in his time. And Isaiah is declaring the war and saying unto us that the Lord is there on the battlefield in the war and he said he will take a rest and then come again and destroy the sour grapes. Now brothers and sisters of the human family, let us say I'm a Gideon and let us get to overstand within that fullness of what is I'm a Gideon. Amagidian is the spiritual warfare that is going on around us right now. Evil is fighting righteousness. And wickedness is fighting against good. Because we can see it's a spiritual warfare going on. Though that people don't want to understand and acknowledge what is going on, look around you. And see all the different religions. And see all the different churches. And then now there is someone who had set up on height 
that went and break war against heaven and against God. The human family don't want to talk about it, but we have to mention it, brothers and sisters of the human family, because it is real. Do you know what it is to break war against heaven and against the Almighty? Well, let me tell you something. Brothers and sisters of the human family, the Armageddon is going on. And the Armageddon is red up. And the Armageddon is terrible and dreadful. Because men, men on earth, broke war against the Almighty God in heaven. Even as he had manifested himself on earth. Do we know in ourselves, within the teachings that we had received from our parents and our elders and from the generation before us and from ancients of times coming on to this time that the church is the sanctuary and holy place of the Almighty God. We had received that message that the church is the sanctuary and the holy place of the Almighty God. We had received that message. Now brothers and sisters of the human family. Who dare men. To sanction. And to make laws. That a man. And a man can go into church. And get married. And that a woman. And a woman can go into church. And get married. This is war against God. And against heaven. Now you do what you want to do and live whatever filthy life you want to live in whatever corner you want to live it. But when you're taking it into the sanctuary of God the Almighty, this is war against heaven. This is the Armageddon that we've been talking about, brothers and sisters of the human family. The Armageddon is going on right here Right now, today, on earth, the Armageddon is going on. And men had lifted up an ensign. And they broke war against God the Almighty and against the heaven and his holy throne. And it was declared, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done unhurt as it is in heaven, brothers and sisters of the human family. So who be they that will rise against the kingdom of heaven? What men in their vain imagination can imagine to enter into the sanctuary of the Almighty with their filthy matrimony. The Armageddon had already begun since in that time, from 1892, according to the Western calendar, the Armageddon begins. As we read the book of Revelation, brothers and sisters of the human family, you all can read it for yourselves. You will see where the Revelation is showing us, the people, in that the Lord must come to open the book of the seven seals before the Revelation begin. And... As we all know that we are living in the time of revelation. And still the people are denying the Lord of glory. To be within his glory. Because the almighty don't need men to be the almighty. He was the almighty before the heaven and the earth was created. And he will be the almighty after the heaven and the earth. As to say, wickedness must pass away. Brothers and sisters of the human family, 
We all read the book of Revelation and we all talking about the whole, this is the time of revelation and the time is dreadful and this is dreadful times we're living in. Oh yes, we're living in dreadful times. But do we really understand that message when it is saying that the Lord must open the seven seals before the revelation begins? And if we live in in the book of Revelation, and then everybody is waiting on the Antichrist. Read it in, in, in the book of John, the epistle of John. Next in John, the, 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 the prophet, the, the epistle of John, which uh, declared that from 1800 years ago, many Antichrists had came into the world. Not today, as the people in the world is, is awaiting the Antichrist to come, but John is declaring that from such time, from 1800 years ago, that the Antichrist had made manifest into this world. But many people don't know that, and many people don't understand that. Even as he had said, it said, uh, Little children, it is the last time, and as and as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know it is the last time. They went out from us, but they were not of us, for if they had been of us, they would have no doubt have continued with us, but they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. So they went out to perform their wickedness so they may show that their wickedness is not of the kingdom of the Almighty and His righteousness. And this is from 1800 years ago. The Antichrists have been out here trying to establish themselves in many forms and ways and organizations and nominations and calling themselves churches. And today, as we see what is going on here on earth with all the different religions, the Armageddon go on. The Armageddon continue. This is the Armageddon. War. Men broke war against heaven and against the kingdom of God. The holy sanctuary, as it declared in the Psalms, if the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? Now this place that's supposed to be the holy sanctuary of the Almighty God, men at sanction to perform their filthy matrimony. Brothers and sisters of the human family, let us be real with ourselves. If we are living in the time of revelation, then Jesus Christ had already come in his second advent. Because according to the book of Revelation, Jesus Emmanuel Wudewahin, in which today the world called Jesus Christ, and I'm not talking about Caesar Balgoda, that picture from, from Michelangelo that all of you people bow down and worship. I'm talking about Emmanuel Jesus Wolde Wahiden. We must know we're talking about the Almighty Himself. We're not talking about the picture painted by Michelangelo of Caesar Balgora. We're not talking about that. We're talking about what Revelation had said. According to the book of Revelation, the Lion of Judah, the Root of David, had prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seals thereof. So the Lion of Judah, that is the Root of David, is the Almighty God. Brothers and sisters of the human family, don't, don't say that I say, say what the Bible say. 
This is what the Bible says. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, because I'm reading it, because it is, it, it is talking to me as I'm reading it here. Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb, as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. Brothers and sisters of the human family, the book of the Amagidian is what we know as the book of the seven seals. And according to the Holy Bible, for the revelation to begin, the Lion of Judah must open this book with the seven seals because it's within the book of the seven seals the judgment is written and the judgment will be pouring out upon the wicked and the enemy of righteousness. And as it had begun from that time and as we are here today living in the time and in the days of revelation and everybody is waiting for the end time. They're waiting for the end. No, they're not waiting for the beginning of revelation, brothers and sisters of the human family. The human race is waiting for the end time and people will go around the world saying to one another, you know, we're living in the last days. Oh yes, this is the last time we're living in the last time. How are we living in the last time if we don't need to acknowledge the one who opened the seven seals that had made it the last time. Because according to the holy book, the seven seals must be loose. And in the book of the seven seals, there is the judgment and the, the things that are to be manifested within our time. And it is happening. Look around the world. Can you see the evil? Can you see which one or what or how the Antichrist is using the human race to destroy itself? And one and another and another had cried and saying self-destruction, the only solution. The human race had been set up against itself to destroy itself. Look upon ourselves, brothers and sisters of the human family. And as we can see, as men would do and men would do and everything that a man is doing unto a man is destroying the human family. Whether it's within the format of the race, this race doesn't like that race, or this nation doesn't like that nation, and this nation is invading that nation, and this people is invading that people, and that people is hating that people. We see it's self-destruction amongst the human family, because in it all, we are all one blood. Sons and daughters of Adam and Eve. And that is why we pray for the entire human race. We pray for the whole world. We're not trying to save the world because we're not the Savior. The Savior is Emmanuel, Yesus, Wolde Wahid. And if the world want to be saved, then the world will take heed unto him and his ordinance and his commandments and his ways that he had given unto us, and the world will be saved. But we are here to declare that the world may not have an excuse to say that they didn't hear or they don't know. They didn't choose to acknowledge and to deal with it. But they cannot have an excuse saying that, you know, we never hear 
that the, is the Lion of Judah who have to lose the seventh seal to begin the Amagedian and the book of Revelation. And the Revelation begin when the Lion of Judah came into the earth because he is the one who had to lose the seventh seal. And there the Lord is telling the people in the book of Matthew, Matthew 24, our Lord say that uh, he will be here, he said, in the time when all the tribes of the earth mourn, they will see the glory of the Son of Man coming in the cloud with power and honor and strength. So the first time, let me say this again, brothers and sisters of the human family, the first time that all the tribes of the earth mourn, and again, the tribes of the earth is all the people that live on the earth, as to say the nations of the world, is in the first world war. World War One. That's when all the tribes of the earth mourn. So according to St. Matthew 24, the Lord would have been here on earth at that time when it was the first world war. And after the first world war, we have seen where the first world war ended in uh, 1918. Uh, and 12 years after that, it was declared in the highest region of the earth that all the nations of the world went to Ethiopia and they crowned the Lion of Judah, King of Kings and Lords of Lords and Conquering Lion of the tribe of Judah. Brothers and sisters, we're talking about the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible saying that the Lion of Judah must be crowned because he is the one who is releasing and loosing the book, the seals of the seven seals of this book of the judgment, the Amagedian. We're living in the Amagedian. We're battling in, in the Amagedian. Only that a lot of us don't know what side we're really on. Because we're looking at a lot of things that are glittering and thinking that is gold. And we're running after that. Remember the parables and the prophecies in the ordinance of the time when the Lord was invited to go and have dinner with the rich people and the people in, in, in wealth and in high society. And then he dressed like a poor man and he went towards them and they asked for some food and they chased him away because they didn't recognize it was the same man that they invited to come and have dinner with them because of his garment. And they chased him away. And they consistently asking them for something to eat. And they ran him out of their premises. Anyhow, the following day, they saw him saying unto him, You know what? We invited you and you never came. He said, I was there. They said, No, you never came. Only one person came in and it was, and then they continue looking in his face as they're talking and the clothes went away and they recognized the face that this was the man that they chased out of their yard and out of the premises. The same man that they invited because of his appearance. But men was looking for the Lord to come 2000 years ago. Sitting in glory upon the throne of righteousness as king of kings and God over all. And he came as a poor child born in a major amongst the, the animals and in, in, in the backyard someplace where his mother gave birth to him. And many of the people say to themselves that it is. It could not be the Lord of glory because look the way he was born. And if he is the king of kings, then he would be so rich and have so much within himself as to say the wealth of the earth. But it was prophesied by the prophets before that he would come right in 
on a donkey and that he had come as the lamb to be slaughtered. But then, and again, it was prophesied that the lamb would be manifested and would be transformed into a lion. And then he will come as the conquering lion of Judah, the root of David. And he will open the seven seals and brothers and sisters of the human family today. Here we are living in the Amagidian. I pray you all that we all give ourselves the time to read the little that we have of the English Bible. I say the little because in the Ethiopian Bible there are much more mentioned and in our holy books in the Ethiopian Tawahedo Church and in the teachings of our holy fathers, it's much, much, much more mentioned than what is here in the King James Version concerning the prophets and the saints, their lives, their testimonies, what they have taught us, and the message to the entire world at large, because this is the message of the Almighty God, our God and our Creator the creator of the universe, Emmanuel Yesus Wolde Wahid, the son of the holy twofold virgin Mariam. And today, brothers and sisters, as we celebrate the victory day and the beginning of the Amagidian, because when Goliath was destroyed by David, all, and I say all of them, who love to push themselves up in that nature and fashion like Goliath was threatened. And so they wanted to destroy Ethiopia. Even today, as you see, the world at large are trying to convert the Ethiopians into Babylonians. And most of our people out here who grew up in the West or lack into the policy of slavish mentality, so to speak. Many of us talk about Marcus Garvey and Malcolm X. Uh, uh, what we're talking about? Marcus was talking about and what these people were talking about. First is the Amagidian. The Amagidian is about good over evil. That we must understand where our parts stand in this Amagidian. The Amagidian is going on. It is not about what somebody look like that we may take side with them, but in the righteousness of the liberty of their lives. For if they are fighting against heaven, do not become their allies. If they break war against God, do not join them. For the fire is a come, as to say the fire is coming soon. And the enemies of righteousness and the enemies of God will be consumed. <coughs> so brothers and sisters of the human family, let us not be an enemy of righteousness. Let us not be an enemy of the Almighty God and is righteousness. Let us all try to overstand the divine message in the Bible and let us go beyond what we have in the King James Version. As I had mentioned, there is a lot more mentioned in the Ethiopian Version and in the Ethiopian teachings and books concerning the prophets and the saints and the messengers of old as the messengers of today continue with the message. Brothers and sisters of the human family, there is a question. How did the lamb become the lion? For the book of Revelation had said that the lion of Judah, the root of David, is the lamb that was slain. How did the lamb became the lion? This is the time of the Armageddon. Today, on this triumphant victory day, 
the victory of David, slew in Goliath, 20th century David, his imperial majesty, Halle Selassie I, slew in Fascius Mussolini, and that Horish nation that he had rise up against to take over the throne of God, which is the throne of David in Ethiopia, and the holy covenant of God, the covenant and ark of covenant given to the Almighty, to the children of Israel that had been kept there in Ethiopia for generations and thousands of years. Italy was trying to steal it. And it was declared a few years ago, myself, I was there in Ethiopia, claiming that someone came in and stole the Ark of the Covenant. Well, it is hidden in the holy chambers of the Almighty, kept by the holy prophet Elijah and the saints and the angels as they surround the holy tablet of the holy Almighty, our creator, Emmanuel Jesus Woldewahi. Brothers and sisters of the human family, on this day of triumphant victory, of good over evil, as it had been read there in the book of Isaiah 18, on this day where David slew Goliath, on this day of the revelation of the Amagidian, the Amagidian continue. We must know ourselves and know our part with God, the true and living God, the almighty God, the creator of the heaven and the earth, the master of the universe, Emmanuel Eyesus Woldewahi. We must declare our part with our Savior and our salvation. And we must let know what righteousness is righteousness. For and only then the world will know what is righteousness as we continue to do what is right before the eyes of our Creator and our Master and our Savior. Brothers and sisters of the human family, we see today there is a particular speech. I pray if you all can find that speech. A lot of it is out there on the internet. I will just say to you all, it had called, even as this program is called, Triumphant Victory. Triumphant Victory. The speech that His Majesty made on this day in 1941, in which he had declared to the world, in his own words, of knowing of the thoughts and thinking of all creation. As he had declared in details to say, in that day, no creation on earth, nor the angels in heaven, had know of that day. And our Lord, before 2000 years, had declared unto the disciples that of that day, no man know of neither the angels in heaven, only the Father. And the majesty had declared of that day being the 5th of May, 1941. He declared on that day, that that day in which neither the angels in heaven, nor no creation on earth know about, was that day of the 5th of May, 1941. Triumphant victory, the selected speech of His Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie I. Triumphant victory, that is what the speech is called. Triumphant victory. In that speech, he declared that that day is the day that neither the angels in heaven nor the creation on earth had known about. But he declared it that he who thanks to the Almighty God by the mouth of man, even as God was standing in the presence of man as a man. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Blessed be the Almighty, our Almighty Creator, the Creator of the heaven and the earth, the strength of our life and the light of our salvation. Emmanuel, a Jesus, will they wahid, the son of the holy twofold Virgin Mariam. Brothers and sisters of the human family, the prophecies are declared in itself and the manifestation, it being manifesting right before our eyes these days, and many of us cannot see nor recognize it. The revelation tell us that the Lion of Judah, the Root of David, will come and open the seven seals. And we are waiting for the Lion of Judah, the Root of David, to come. And still we declare to ourselves amongst the one another that we are living in the time of revelation. Now, if we are living in the time of revelation, then the seal had been broken. The seal had been loose. This is what the book is declaring to us. The Lion of Judah loosed the seven seals. And we can see all the leaders of the herd and who is popping up and who is pushing up and who is pumping up and all and who is talking about their power and their might because of whatever bomb they have and whatever guns they have. This is the Armageddon. We see all the religions and nominations are fighting amongst themselves and fighting to increase themselves and to win souls. And most of the people are not acknowledging the true church of the Almighty. As I must say this, brothers and sisters, today what we call Christianity in the world, which was known as the Masonic faith, is an African religion as all the nations of the world are the children of the Africans, that this religion or this way of life and order of the Almighty had to reach out to all nations. Because today what they call Christianity is the order of Melchizedek. A lot of things are changed in the Western Christian world Get it clear, brothers and sisters. But in the formula of which we receive the, the, the bread and wine, as to say the body and blood of our Lord, this is the teachings and order of heaven and the order of Melchizedek, the high priest. You see, the, the Bible let us know that Melchizedek is the holy high priest of the Almighty. Eh? But there is not much mention about Melchizedek in the Bible itself. But we have to find that in our holy text from our ancients in Ethiopia to understand Melchizedek being the father of Ethiopia who had established Ethiopia by the message and ordinance of the divine almighty creator. And we're talking about all of this because this is the time of the Armageddon, and it begins with Ethiopia. It begins in Ethiopia. Civilization started in Ethiopia. The, the Garden of Eden, as it had been noted, is in the far region of Ethiopia, shadowed in light in the midst of cloud, hidden from the eyes of the physical man. And our mother and father, Adam and Ewet, of the human generation, the human race, dwelled in Ethiopia as to be in the first home and dwelling place of the human race on earth. And again, we see coming through the generation gap, even the Bible itself, the first country the Bible mentioned about is Ethiopia. And the four rivers coming out from the region of Ethiopia. Again, coming we see the Bible talking about Ethiopia stretching forth our hands unto God, the Almighty. 
Again, we see the Bible talking about this man was born there in Ethiopia. And many of us never sit down and give ourselves the time to ask the question, who is this man that was born in Ethiopia that the Holy Bible is talking about? Yes, indeed. I want to know who is this man that was born in Ethiopia. The Bible didn't say he was born in England or America or Canada. The Bible said he was born in Ethiopia. Now, who is this man? The Bible said that the Lord of glory, the son of the holy twofold virgin, Mariam, will return and sit upon the throne of David, and the throne of David is in Ethiopia. And we are seeing where, as we celebrate today, victory day of David slew in Goliath, 20th century David, sitting on the throne of David, and destroying 20th century Goliath, that is Mussolini and the fascist country that he governed amongst at that time. I pray that they come to God in his righteousness and holy ordinance. My brothers and sisters of the human family, Ethiopia, the holy land of the almighty God. Not because I'm saying that, because I, I, I am love Ethiopia. Ethiopia is my home and my heart and my soul within that divine meditation. But the Lord himself had declared it. He had chosen Zion for his dwelling place and his resting place. And there he will dwell. And if the Almighty had chosen Zion for his dwelling place, where else would you want to dwell? And we say that we want to be under the shadow of his wings. Where else would you want to dwell? And if the Almighty had declared that Ethiopia is holy among Zion, how can I say or tell somebody that someplace else is among Zion? Read it in Isaiah 18. Talking about Ethiopia and the invaders who invade Ethiopia and the Almighty God declaring Ethiopia being is Mount Zion. Brothers and sisters of the human family, many things to mention. I pray that we all had gained something from our reasoning today that we can reason within ourselves to understand the divine message of the Holy Scriptures. Not at one man had said this and one man had said that, but that it had been declared from the Bible itself through the message of the prophets, the saints and the apostles unto us that we today celebrate the victory of Ethiopia, good over evil. David, 20th century David, his imperial majesty, Haile Selassie I, destroying and conquering 20th century Goliath, fascist Mussolini. Brothers and sisters of the human family, we all must know our history, for this is human history. It was God himself who had declared unto the prophet Isaiah of what will happen on this day in that year. And it was God himself who had declared unto the prophet Isaiah that he will take his rest from the battle and then he will come back again after to destroy all of the sour grapes as to say the invaders who had invaded Ethiopia. Brothers and sisters of the human family, glory to the Almighty in heaven and on earth peace it goodwill towards all men. Who seek after his goodwill. Now remember, the Savior cannot save you if you do not need a Savior. Blessed be the Almighty, our Almighty Creator, the Creator of the heaven and the earth, the strength of our life and the light of our salvation. Emmanuel, Jesus, Wolde Wahid, the Son of the Holy Twofold Virgin Mariam. 
and blessed be our Holy Mother, the Holy Twofold Virgin, Mariam, the Mother of our Salvation, the Mother of our Lord and our Savior, Emmanuel, yes, as well, they were heed. Brothers and sisters, the prophecies are before us. Let us all know within ourselves. The prophecy of this victory day of Ethiopia is in the Holy Bible, the book of Revelation in Isaiah, because the Lion of Judah had prevailed. Amen.